Howdy folks, I'm Mike Davis. This is JRM 360. You know, as I contemplate the importance of Mother's Day, which is this Sunday, by the way, so don't forget, I just don't have the words that truly express the importance of mothers. So at times like these, I gotta find people that do. Mother, there is no other like mother, so treat her right. Boys and girls, what is a Mother's Day edition of JRM 360 without the mecca of mothers, Martha Earnhardt? Or as the rest of the free world knows her as, Mamaw. All right, so we're here with Martha Earnhardt. Hey, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. It's not quite here. Well, it was a, yeah, it'll be here. And if you, hey, there's nothing wrong with an early Mother's Day, right? Oh, I like to celebrate as long as I can. In Martha Earnhardt's world, what is the most perfect Mother's Day gift? Just having all my children together. Okay, and is that the plan? Uh, hopefully. Now, what are you doing out here today? Well, they might want me to come out here and do a little thing with uh, Carrie little, com I don't know, it's for the foundation or something, I think. So you're shooting a commercial? Well, sort of, yeah. You actually have shot a lot of commercials now. You're kind of a commercial star. And to bring generations of the Earnhardt family together takes real food. So the mayonnaise has to be Hellman's because it tastes delicious and we wouldn't use anything else. I see you've got a fire suit on. Now this is uh, very impressive. Mamma Earnhardt here. How many times have you ever worn a fire suit in your life? Never. Never? Mm -mm. Not once? Not once. I always would think that the matriarch of a racing family, like where you wearing a fire suit would be like most people just wearing pajamas. It just feel normal. Um, have you ever driven a race car? One time. I one tried, time? I, I tried one time, but I didn't quite make it. What happened? I sort of run into the, to the bank right in front of the grandstand. <laughs> they frown on things like that. Well, especially my husband, because I was driving the car he was going to drive in the race. So, are you saying that uh, Ralph, instead of giving you another try, he just told you what you did wrong and that was it? Well, he actually just told me what to do. He didn't let me practice or anything. He just put, put me in the car and told me what to do, and I didn't do it. Now, wait a second. <laughs> Two of the greatest race car drivers that ever walked the planet, you cleaned their underwear. They couldn't have given you a little bit more advice? <laughs> I don't know why he didn't let me practice. We've taken it under shelter um, because it started raining. And what did you tell me when it started raining? Why did we need to get it, uh, you know? Because I'd mess my hair up. Can't have that happen. You are mamaw to 11 grandchildren, but you're also kind of mamaw to entire junior nation. You know that? Yeah, it seems like they all call me mamaw up there. Brother. I mean, if I get an award, I want to put it on your mantle. Oh, okay. That'd be good. I never get an award. <laughs> Do you recall the first time you ever heard somebody called Dale the Intimidator, and, and and what did you think about that nickname? I really and truly don't remember exactly, but um, I thought it was a good deal. Where did he get his intimidation from? His sisters, even though they were older, you know. Oh. Yeah, he used to love to intimidate their boyfriends when they'd come to see him, you know, see the girls. So Dale actually, you're saying that he became the Intimidator before he ever started racing? Oh, yeah, yeah. What would he do? He just aggravate them, just pick on them, aggravate them. I can imagine that some years later, this one of those boyfriends that didn't work out, sitting there watching a race, and, and Dale becomes the intimidator on the track, and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's that guy. I remember him. That's him. All right, folks, what a true honor it was to talk to Martha and Hart as we lead into Mother's Day weekend. Thank you, Mamma, for taking time out of your commercial shoot to talk with us, and thank you guys at home for watching JRM 360. We'll see you at Darlington.